basically in all everyday situations where you have to deal with visual motion, um, it's beneficial to track moving objects with, with your eyes. If you are not very good at tracking moving objects with your eyes, you should have impairments in your perception. And uh, schizophrenic patients have a known deficiency in their eye movement. So when they have to track um, a moving object like a car or a ball or a, a, an airplane, they make a lot of um, fast jumps with their eyes, so-called saccades. So rather than moving their eyes really smoothly and slowly and continuously, they make jerky eye movements. We've developed an experimental paradigm that we call eye soccer. Um, it's literally like playing soccer with your eyes. I see a vertical line segment and a ball flying towards that line. And on a given trial, it can either hit or it can miss. Miss. Hit. We find that um, whereas healthy controls really benefit from tracking that ball with their eyes, in uh, schizophrenics, it doesn't matter what they do with their eyes. This research potentially tells us something about where some of their symptoms could originate. So we find a um, a combination of visual and ocular motor deficits that could potentially explain a number of um, problems they have in everyday life. So, for instance, schizophrenic patients often suffer from disorientation. Um, they may even have problems with very simple everyday tasks like, you know, reading a transportation map or dialing a, a number on a telephone. So I think many of these everyday problems actually come down to visual motor deficits. With this new paradigm that we develop, we potentially have a handle at um, training eye movements and training perception. You know, my vision is to have something um, portable, like on an iPad, that patients could take home and they could practice and then it would improve their performance. Outside the clinical applications, um, this kind of research can uh, have a huge impact on training athletes. A lot of athletes are now looking into improving their visual motor abilities, so their eye movements, their eye-hand coordination. I'm working with the UBC baseball team to explore uh, whether this is something that could potentially be incorporated into their daily routine.